Hey what's going on guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you in my opinion the most overpowered Serie A team which you can use um, to try and win that team of the season cup. Um, it's very cheap this team is, it doesn't it doesn't cost a lot at all. And um, yeah I'll jump straight into the video and run you through the team. So um, as you can see Handanovic in goal, Miranda and Malola centre backs, uh, Lick Steiner right back and Alexandro left back. So it's a really solid defence. Um, they're all pretty high rated players to be honest. Um, I think like the right backs and left back, um, they're, I think they're the highest like rare gold player which you can get in the Serie A I think. Um, Lick Steiner and Alexandro, um, exclude, that's excluding like informs and team of the seasons and, and all that. But um, centre backs I have gone with Manolas and Miranda as you can see. Um, really good players, really solid. Obviously, you could spend a little bit more if you have the coins and go with like Chiellini instead of Manolas or instead of Miranda. But um, I've just gone with these guys because they're cheap and they do a really good job for me, to be honest. Um, moving on to centre defensive mid, I have gone with Pereira. If you're used to like using Serie A teams, you're probably used to using this guy as well, but just because you know he's one of those players, which in my opinion you, should, you just always have to have in your um, Serie A team just because of. His, his all-round stats are just great, um, and he's just a really, really good player, to be honest. Bags me loads of goals, and um, yeah, he's one of my favourite midfielders in, in FIFA 16, I think. Um, as well as these guys in front of him, uh, Marquisio and Nine Golan, really good players, you know, great all-round stats. I think Nine Golan's lowest stat is his shooting, which is 78, um, and Marquisio's is his shooting as well, which is 74. Um, as you can see, Marquisio was a bit naughty last game. He decided to... Uh, to sort of break his opponent's leg, which um which which gave him a red card, but um yeah overall great players, uh, great midfield. Uh, moving on to centre attacking mid, I have gone with Insigne. You can really sort of change change this formation, this sort of front three. You can sort of there's a lot of there's a lot of different options which you can choose basically is what I'm trying to say. Um obviously you can go with someone like Mertens centre attacking mid, um or you can even go with someone like Morata if you converted him to a, a can. Uh, he's always done a great job for me there when I've done so before. Just because, you know, he's a bit taller. Some people prefer to sort of hit the ball up um, long to their strikers and just get him to hold it up if they prefer to play like that, um, which will also work great if that's the way you like to play. Um, strikers, I have gone with Muriel and Calion. Um Not the tallest of players, to be honest, and not the strongest, but uh, they are very quick, very sweaty and get me loads of goals. Um, that's just the way I play with lots of three balls and stuff. Some obviously, as I said before, some people like to hit it up to their strikers long and um, and get them to hold it up or, or win the headers and stuff. Um, which you could put someone like Morata up there or Niang. Uh, he's a pretty good player. Um, any of those players really, they'd work fine. But yeah, I've gone with these guys just because you know they're very quick. 89 pace on Muriel and uh, 90 pace on Calion. And just yeah, great great players to be honest. They get me loads of goals. Um, I always tend to use them in my Serie A teams just because of how cheap they are and um, and how well they perform. In terms of player instructions guys, um, I tend to not change much actually, anything at all to be honest. Um, obviously if you want to sort of adapt the the playing style with in using instructions if you know what I mean, so like changing the right backs to stay back while attacking, if that's the way you want to play um, then feel free obviously. Um, if you use those player instructions, just sort of, just to just sort of adapt the team to the, to the way you play. Um, but me personally, I just tend to leave everything the way it is, just so that the team feels a bit more free, um, free flowing. But obviously, that's just my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to leave a like if you did, and subscribe if you're new around here. And I will see you in the next video.